Hello there, this is Paula from Replicon. This is a simple in-out timesheet. In this kind of timesheet, you record the time when you start and the time when you end each shift or work segment. We get it. Recording every start and end time can feel repetitive. But remember that recording your work time accurately is actually very important, since it allows your organization to pay you or to bill clients so your company gets paid. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of your timesheet to help you use it efficiently. But before I start, note that this is a tour of the in-out timesheet format only. If you enter durations, say one hour for a meeting or eight hours for a shift, stop this video and look for our duration-based timesheet tour. Now, without further delay, let's take a look at what you can do with your in-out timesheet. First, you can add a new entry by clicking the plus icon. Note that each row represents a particular day of your timesheet period. Always make sure you're recording time in the correct row. Then, enter your start and stop times for your shift or work segment. You can use the tab, arrow, or enter buttons on your keyboard to get to the out field. If you use AM and PM, your timesheets will guess which one to use, but you can override their selection, or you can enter it with the time. And you can enter comments related to the time entry by clicking the bubble icon. If you see this add break option, you should record your in and out times for your breaks too. I've just been showing you features of our simple in out timesheet, but note that some Replicon users are assigned a slightly more complex in out format that supports entry of time against projects, tasks, or activities. If your timesheet looks like this, you can select a project, task, or activity here, and you may be able to select the billing rate for the time you worked. Note that information on your pay for this timesheet may be available here. If you see a message that looks like this at the top of your timesheet, a validation error or warning is in effect. For example, you might see a warning if you haven't entered enough hours for a day. If you see a message like this, read it and fix the error, since it might prevent you from submitting your timesheet. If you have a book time off button, you can submit time off bookings from within your timesheet. This can be handy if you took unplanned time off, like sick time. And if you messed up, you can use the clear all option and remove all data and start over. Note that you can simplify things by copying data from a previous timesheet or from your schedule. To do that, click Overwrite With and select an option. Note that your changes are automatically saved, so you don't have to remember to save. What you will have to remember to do is submit your timesheet once you've finished filling it out by clicking Submit for Approval. The due date should display here. If you're curious about who's approving it, click See All Approvers. After you've submitted your timesheet, you can check the approval details table to see whether it was approved or rejected, and to see any comments your approvers made about the timesheet. But note, you'll likely be sent a notification once it's approved or rejected, so you don't usually have to look back at submitted timesheets. If you do need to look at older timesheets, you can navigate to them by clicking See All Timesheets, or by clicking the timesheet's date. Note that typically your current timesheet displays by default when you open Replicon, but you can choose to always see your oldest unsubmitted timesheet when you log in, if you prefer, by clicking this cog icon and adjusting your settings. This can help you remember to submit older items. Wondering what this refresh button does? This button triggers payroll recalculation based on data in your timesheet. Generally speaking, you could ignore this button, though clicking it won't cause any issues. That's about all you need to know about using an in-out timesheet in Replicon. But note, you can also access your timesheet using our mobile app, Replicon Mobile, which is available in the App Store and the Play Store. One final note, since Replicon offers optional timesheet elements, like custom fields, you may have features in your timesheet I didn't mention or you may be missing one or two small items that I did mention. To find out more about your timesheet, 
go to replicon.com slash help and click employees. There's a whole list of help topics for timesheet users. Or you can post a question in our community or contact Replicon support. That's all from me for now. Thanks for your time.